Hello, good afternoon. Right, very short, brief video how to assemble or disassemble the hub first. So you get out the packet and then take it apart, ready to insert the center post. So, as you can see, machine bolts here we have the top and here at the bottom. This is how it will become packed. We need to take it apart and then insert the hub and then put it back together. Okay. Let's remove the machine screws. Put these to one side, safe. Remove the the uh, the collar. Note, top end is black, bottom is not. Important later. To one side. Again, take it apart. Put a safe to one side. Okay, you will note grub screws. Call them what you want. Refer to them as grub screws. So now, top of the hub, bottom of the hub, grub screws. These to one side. Okay, here we have the centre post. No collars, no nothing involved. Insert this way, step mask first into the top section of the centre post. Simple. Grub screws facing up. Six metres inserted. You will note. Line the feed points upwards, the same as a grub screw. The 8mm machine screw inserts a bit of jiggling about. I won't go too mad with this demonstration, but basically that will go all the way in. Right, here we go. Okay. Insert the washer and the, the nylock nut, the rear end, and the uh, Tighten. That's simple. Don't touch the grub screws yet. Nice and simple. Make sure the grub screws are slack enough to insert the collar. Okay. Observe the line, the ring. If there's no line on there, for whatever reason, it's still very simple. Make sure the black is facing out. The line lines up with a grub screw. Insert, line the holes up, insert the bolt. If it doesn't, if there's no line and you can't line it up one way, just turn it 180 degrees and again line it up, insert the bolt. So that's the only adjustment you have. This one has a line on it. We'll insert it. Visually check that uh, it's lined up, which this one is. Insert the bolt. Again, bit of uh, bit of moving about a bit. There you go. It's in. Machine bolt. Nylock nut. Tighten. Get an Allen key or a large screwdriver. These don't have to be very tight just tight enough to uh, just to bite into the the fiberglass center post and the the filler the filler on the bottom that goes straight into your rotator and it's as simple as that if you do want to use a scaffold pole remove it's like scaffold pole inside and drill your own holes either side insert the bolt so again if you want to use scaffold pole 48 millimeter remove the collar slide it off slide the scaffold pole over the, the top straight into there drill your own holes and it's really as simple as that okay thank you very much